Welcome back to another Power BI 3 minute tip. If you're liking these quick Power BI tutorials, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell. Today I'm going to show you how to set up parameters in your Power BI report. And parameters are cool because it allows you to set up a predefined list of parameters that you can enter into your queries. Uh, let me go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. Uh, so if we click get data and we go to SQL Server, you know you always have to type in the name of your server instance in your database every time you want to pull in a table. Uh, but this will allow us to just type it in once and then use it as a parameter. Uh, so let's go ahead and enter our first parameter. So the way we do that is we go to edit queries and we come to manage parameters here. Let's click that button. And now we can add a parameter by clicking new. Let's give it a name. We will call the server, give it a description, server instance. And you can make this required or optional. We'll make it required. It'll be a text, suggested values. We will uh, create a list of values. And my server instance is bi SQL express. Uh, and we'll add one more called fake server, just to show you that we can switch and that it will not work with the fake server name. Our default value will make, uh, we'll make bi SQL express. Our current value will also make um, the real server name. So we'll go ahead and click OK. And we will need to add one more parameter for the database. So let's right click, um, right click new parameter. We will call this database, uh, database name, type, it'll be text as well, suggested values, list of values as well. Our database is called AdventureWorks DW2012. We'll add one more called FakeDB. And we will make the default the AdventureWorks and the current value AdventureWorks as well. Let's go ahead and click OK. So now we have two parameters, um, the server name and the database name. Click Close and Apply. So now when we go to get our data from the SQL Server, we now have the option to specify either text by typing it in, or we can specify the parameter. And the server will be the server. We can select server or database, but server is correct. And parameter uh, for the database, we will put in database. And now to see if this is actually working, all we have to do is click OK. And we can see a list of tables that we can select from. Let's bring in dim promotion. The fact that we we're able to see those tables means that it was picking up the right server name and the right database name. So that's really cool. Now we have our dim promotion table loaded into our data model. So let's go ahead and switch the parameters to show you um, that like using the wrong parameter names would not work in our instance. So let's go back to edit queries or actually even easier, we can just click the arrow and click edit parameters here. And that's the way you can switch your parameters. So let's switch server from the real name to fake server and adventure works to fake DB and click OK. And the moment you do that, you're going to have a connection issue because your server name and your um, database name aren't going to be correct anymore. And you get this error. And it's basically just an error saying that you couldn't connect using those uh, that server name and that database name. So that's exactly what we expected would happen. Let's go back and change our parameters back to what would work. BI SQL Express and AdventureWorks. Click OK and see this would not have a problem this doesn't cause an error so that's really cool um, and every time we go forward we can just use that parameter server parameter database so we don't have to type out our server name and database so that'll save you some time in the long run if you like this video make sure you subscribe to the channel and i will see you in the next power bi three minute tip